Air combat is evolving faster than ever. The skies are no longer dominated just by speed and maneuverability. Now, stealth, sensors, electronic warfare, and drone integration define the future. The United States has the F-22. Raptor, still the deadliest air superiority. Fighter in the world. It also has the F-35 Lightning II, a networked. Stealthy, multi-role fighter already in mass production. China fields the J-20 Mighty Dragon. Rapidly modernizing and expanding its air force. And then there's Russia, pushing forward with the Su-57. Its first stealth fighter. But now, Russia is introducing an upgraded variant, the Su-57M. So, what makes the Su-57M different? What upgrades set it apart from its predecessor? And can it really compete with the West and China? Let's find out. The origins of the Su-57. The Su-57 was born out of the Pac FA program in the early 2000s. Its mission. To create a fifth-generation fighter that could match the American F-22 Raptor. The design combined stealth shaping, thrust vectoring for extreme agility, and advanced avionics. Its maiden flight took place in 2010. A moment of pride for Russia. But the road wasn't smooth. The program suffered delays, accidents, and funding problems. The aircraft's engines were not ready. Forcing prototypes to rely on older. AL-41F1 engines. Basically upgraded versions of the Su-35's power plants. Meanwhile, the US and China surged ahead. By 2015, the F-35 was entering service in growing numbers. By 2017, China declared the J-20 combat ready. Russia, in contrast, only managed to deliver its first Su-57 to the Air Force in 2020, nearly a decade late. This slow progress is why the Su-57M matters so much. It represents an effort to fix weaknesses and finally deliver. A true fifth-generation fighter. Worthy of competing with the West. The engines, powering the Su-57M. The most important upgrade for the Su-57M. Lies at its core, the engines. The original Su-57 used the AL-41F1, reliable but not powerful enough for the performance Russia envisioned. That's where the new Izdalai 30 engines come in. These next-generation engines provide several breakthroughs. Thrust, the Izdalai 30 produces around 107 kN dry thrust and 178 kN with afterburner. That's significantly more powerful than the AL-41F1. Super Cruise, for the first time, the Su-57M can achieve sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. Something only the F-22 can reliably do. Fuel efficiency, improved engine design extends the aircraft's range. Crucial for Russia's vast geography. Reduced maintenance, the engines are designed for a longer lifespan and easier servicing. Helping Russia's limited defense budget stretch further. Combined with the jet's 3D thrust vectoring nozzles, the Su-57M promises unrivaled agility. In a dogfight, it could potentially outmaneuver any Western fighter. But agility alone doesn't win wars anymore. Which is why the other upgrades matter just as much. Stealth and airframe upgrades. One of the Su-57's biggest criticisms has been its stealth, or lack of it. The jet was never as radar evading as the F-22 or F-35. Its exposed engine nozzles, complex curves, and external rivets all increase its radar signature. The Su-57M introduces refinements. Redesigned engine inlets with improved radar blockers. Smoother airframe shaping, with tighter panel fitting. Greater use of radar absorbent composites and coatings. While these changes won't make it as invisible as a U.S. stealth jet, they reduce its radar cross-section enough to complicate detection. And this reflects Russia's philosophy. Instead of pure stealth, the Su-57M aims for a hybrid, stealthy enough to survive, but still optimized for supermaneuverability and dogfighting. It's a trade-off, but one Russia 
believes is more realistic given its military doctrine. Avionics and Cockpit Systems Next, let's talk about brains, the avionics. The original Su-57 already had a powerful sensor suite. Including the N036 Bielka radar system with multiple AESA arrays. The Su-57M upgrades this further with enhanced computing power. New sensors, and improved electronic warfare capabilities. The cockpit itself has been redesigned. Panoramic touchscreen displays give pilots instant access to data. Helmet-mounted displays allow missile targeting just by looking at a target. And most importantly, AI-assisted systems reduce pilot workload in combat. This AI can handle some navigation, electronic warfare, and even basic threat responses, letting the pilot focus on the mission. Sensor fusion is another key point. Like the F-35, the Su-57M integrates radar, infrared, and electronic intelligence into a single picture, giving the pilot superior situational awareness. This is an area where Russia has historically lagged behind. But the Su-57M represents a big step forward. Weapons and combat capability. A fighter's purpose is combat. And the Su-57M brings an arsenal to the table. Its internal bays allow it to carry weapons stealthily. These include K-77-meter long-range air-to-air missiles with an active radar seeker and claimed ranges up to 200 kilometers. R-74M-2 short-range missiles. Agile weapons designed for dogfights. A variety of precision-guided. Bombs and standoff. Weapons for ground attack missions. But one of the most futuristic capabilities is its link to the S-70 Okotnik stealth drone. In the future, Su-57MS may act as command aircraft controlling drones that can scout, jam radars, or even carry weapons. This loyal wingman concept mirrors U.S. and Chinese developments, showing how Russia is adapting to the drone era. If successful, a Su-57M, supported by several Okotnik, drones could become a powerful strike package, overwhelming even advanced defenses. How does it compare? So how does the Su-57M stack up against its rivals? Against the F-22 Raptor. The Raptor still wins in stealth and proven combat readiness. But the Su-57M may offer more modern avionics and equal or superior dogfighting agility. Against the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 dominates in networking, stealth, and battlefield integration. The Su-57M, however, is faster, more maneuverable, and potentially better in one-on-one -on -one combat. Against China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, the J-20 emphasizes stealth and long-range engagements. The Su-57M emphasizes agility and versatility. Which approach is better will depend on the battlefield. Ultimately, the Su-57M is not the best in every category, but it represents Russia's own balance of priorities, survivability, speed, and adaptability. The future of the Su-57M. The question is not just how capable the Su-57M is, but how many Russia can actually build. Western experts estimate that Russia has fewer than 20 Su-57s in service as of the mid-2020s. Production has been slowed by sanctions, funding issues, and supply chain problems. Russia hopes to ramp up production in the 2030s. But whether this will happen remains uncertain. What is certain is that the Su-57M is Russia's best hope of keeping pace with Western and Chinese advancements. It may never exist in huge numbers, but the technology it introduces, from advanced engines to drone integration, will shape Russia's future air power. The Su-57M is more than just an upgrade, it is a statement. A declaration that Russia will not be left behind in the age of stealth fighters. With its new engines, improved stealth shaping, advanced avionics, and cutting-edge weapons, the Su-57M is without doubt the most capable Russian fighter ever built. But the question remains. Will it become a true rival to the F-22? 
the F-35, and the J-20? Or will it remain a technological showcase? Too limited in numbers to change the balance of power in the skies? Time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Su 57M, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.